Here the question is: Analyze the following highly simplified procedure. And after analyzing this procedure, decide the minimum number of tests that are needed to ensure that all the questions have been asked, all combinations have occurred, and all replies given. And then these options are provided. Line number one is: Ask, what type of ticket do you require? Single or a return? Since this is a statement, we can represent it like this. Line number two is, if the customer wants a return. This is a condition, and we can represent it like this in flowchart. If this condition is true, line number three, ask, what rate, standard, or cheap day? Will execute. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this. Line number four is if the customer replies cheap day. This is a condition, and we can represent it like this in flowchart. Line number five is say that will be eleven twenty. This is a statement, so we can represent it like this. Now let's see line number six and seven. They are very important. Line six is else. This else is for condition on line number four. Whenever you see the else statement, it is for the immediate if statement. Let me repeat it again. We have two if statement before this else. One is at line number two, and other one at line number four. And we have to now decide this else is for which if condition. Else is always for the immediate if condition. Therefore, else condition on line number six is for if condition on line number four, and not for line number two. That means if the condition fails, line number seven will be executed, which is say that will be nineteen fifty. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this on flowchart. Now let's see line number eight, which is and if. This and if is also for the immediate if condition. That means this and if is for a condition on line number four, and this is how we have to close this condition on flowchart. Line number nine is else. Since condition on line number four is already closed, this else is for condition on line number two. If this condition fails, line number ten will be executed, and this is how we have to represent it in the flowchart. Line number ten is and if, and this and if is for condition on line number two, and this is how we have to close it in flowchart. With this, the flowchart is complete. Now let's see what they are asking us to find in this problem. We have to decide the minimum number of tests that are needed to ensure that all the questions have been asked, all combinations have occurred, and all replies given. To do that, we have to find the path coverage. Here, the question is indirect. Since we have to ensure all the questions are answered and all the replies are given, we have to find path coverage. We have three different paths here, so we need three test cases to cover them. Therefore, option B, three, is the answer.